express 24 over 60 as a decimal. Okay, so if you have your calculator, you can just take 24 and divide by 60, and you'll get your answer. The answer here is, I believe, 0 0.4. But if you don't have a calculator and you have to work this out, then it's a matter of reducing this to its simplest form. So what goes into 24 that also goes into 60? Well, 4 goes into, uh, actually 6 goes into 24. How many times? It goes in 4 times. So if I divide this by 6, I'm going to get 4. 4 times 6 is 24. If I divide this, 60 by 6, I'm going to get 10. Now this is also not as reduced as it can be. I can turn this into 2 over 5. But what am I going to do with this? They wanted it as a decimal, and this is not as a decimal. Well, if I'm going to turn this into a decimal, what I would have to do is I would have to take 2, divide it by 5. How many times does 5 go into 2? It does not go in. It doesn't go in evenly. However, I'm allowed to extend this if I put a decimal here. And I can say that 5 goes into 20 four times. 4 times 5 is exactly 20, so that leaves 0 remainder, which means I'm done. And so that means that this is my answer, and the answer here is A.